Hold on, sorry. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Let me get y'all some lighting. I don't know why everything is like wobbly. What's up, beautiful people? I'm about to answer a super common question, even though I've made a hundred videos. Let me tell y'all something. Lesson one of the million that I'm probably going to bust out for the day. Even though you think you already taught it, teach it again. Period, point blank. Now, I get this question a lot. Okay, this camera is wrong. Hold on, y'all. That dog, it. this is a mess. A hot mess. Sorry, this is going to be wobbly. This is going to be wobbly. There we go, kind of. Wait a minute. This is a mess. Let me turn this way. So look, if you have short hair, to all my short hair cut, hey guys, to all my short hair cut rocking people, um, from the clients to the stylist. <laughs> I'm not on there yet. <laughs> so, why is this? Hold on, y'all. I gotta get this together. This is a mess. My little ghetto setup. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh my god. Sorry, y'all. This is a mess. This is what this is. This is on lean for some reason. This is a hot mess. A hot A mess. So anyway, <laughs> let me push it back. Hey guys. This is a mess, but oh well. I'm just gonna keep going. No, listen, don't stop. Just keep going. So I'm gonna take some foam wrap and she's getting a haircut. One thing to consider when you're getting your hair cut, or when you're going to cut a client's hair, or clients when you're molding your hair at home, you want to think about the style that you are going to do and make sure that your mold is going to support the look that you want to create. So. I know that she's probably going to get something kind of sleek and easy, right? Yeah. I don't know. How yeah. about you tell me what you want to get? I'm pretty much... What I've learned from Lisa Nichols is that I'm bossy. <laughs> she told me the whole time in Barcelona that I was bossy. And she was like, why am I scared of you? <laughs> but what would you like to get on your hair? Just like the pixie cut. Just cut. I'm going to need a cut really bad. So she... Got it. So pixie is... When you say pixie, what part of it do you like? Y'all, this is the kind of questions you want to really get into asking your clients. Like, what part of, what do you mean pixie? Who, what celebrity, what lookalikes? What do you like about a pixie cut? Just like your hair. How, how, how is your hair on your head? Your hair. Look at that. And clients will tell you this all the time. I want my hair like your hair. If you are a stylist, but you wearing weave, and you're trying to be a short hair specialist, I mean, you can do it, but I'm just saying, why not convert quicker and, like, rock what you want to, you know, sell? So, she likes my hair. My hair is very short. I don't have to, I didn't comb my hair this morning. I literally hopped about the bed like this. I didn't do anything extra. So, with that being said, I already know what kind of cut she wants. The key to molding is watching how I, look at my hand following the comb. Look at that. Y'all see that? I'm molding the hair. I'm making sure that the hair is smooth. I'm not taking the comb and going like combing it down like this because that creates air bubbles and pockets and makes the mold stand up. So I am following my hand and making sure this hair is flat. Now listen, you got some El Cheapo foam wrap. I don't know what your outcome is going to be. <laughs> so you want to make sure my two favorite, they lay on the time funny. My two favorite, um, um, foam wraps and products are my number one is Influence. They did not pay me to say this. 
My number two is uh, Nairobi. And it's my last choice because it gets flaky for me. I don't like the way it's flaky and like stiffy kind of. So listen, and you want to use a foam wrap that no matter how much you put in the hair, it actually keeps the hair still smooth after it's dry and, and not feeling like, you don't want the hair to feel like it has a film on it. Have you ever been doing hair and you feel like the hair has a lot of product? I saw a celebrity stylist yesterday doing someone's short hair and that poor woman, I said, uh-uh, that ain't even cute. Her hair had a bunch of, you can tell it had a film on it. That has to do with your product. Guys, you have to understand how products treat hair. The reason why my salon business, I can literally go in right now and train 20 people, open up a big salon, blah, blah, I don't feel like there's too much energy. But I got this, and I understand, and I don't care what the race of the person is, I can do anybody's hair, period, point blank. Because I understand product knowledge, I understand hair structure, and I understand the chemistry behind the chemicals. So I need you as a stylist to not just be a little one and done, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am type of stylist. You have to know your craft inside and out. That's what separates you from the rest, and that is what's going to help you create a life that's barely recognizable. So listen, I'm just going and following my hand and the comb. Now, because she's getting a haircut, there's hair here over the ear. What I'm going to do is just literally, I'm just going to comb that forward, what naturally falls forward, and then everything else, I'm going to bring it backwards. Okay? So, my clients know, keep your neck still as hell. I don't play that. <laughs> Listen, as the stylist, as the creator... It, and, and, and I know the results that I'm going to create for her, so I'm not going to compromise. And I need her to know that this is a team effort. The health of her hair is a team effort. I want her to use the right products. So, yes, black people, we do buy retail. Because I've had several black stylists tell me clients don't buy retail. Use a lot. She came in with her. I sell these to my clients. It's retail. These are $12, and I say for $10, if you keep your bottle, girl, I remail you. Okay, so listen. She came in with her empty bottle, like, time to fill it up. I'm like, yeah, get all your money, honey. Like, this is, and, and this is what she needs in order to duplicate what I've created for her. All y'all stylists who only want you, you only want to be the key holder, that's probably why you saying you can't afford a hair class. I'm going to leave that down and step around here. So listen, <laughs> because that's a negative mentality. I need her to be fly at all times so she can love me because I'm her educator. I'm the person who helps her be a better woman wherever she is, at the store, as a mama, as, a, as whatever. Like, that's what my goal is. That's what my job is. So, I'm going to put, this is setting lotion mixed with some water from Influence. I like it at the top because it's lighter. So it's going to be a fluffier consistency, and I just like it because it makes the hair shine. It's their silk setting lotion. I wish they was paying me to talk about this right now, but they're not. Not yet. I'm going to call them with a check, with an offer. They should pay you. Hell yeah, I talk about them all the time. So, but that's what happens when you make a good product. It's not about, I want the best for the stylist and the, uh, the client. So, hell, I got to tell you what I'm using. Some of y'all trying to keep the products in the back and say, I'll tell you when they pay me. No, I'm going to tell you now. Influence. Affirm. Nairobi. These are good product lines, guys. You don't be using no salad stuff and all that. No, 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 no. Why? Why, why, why? Now, listen, we got to all start somewhere. If that's where your budget is, I get it. But aspire to be greater and use professional products. Hey, Ernestine. So, now... Her hair is molded. Notice her body position. I don't care if you're a client or a stylist. Don't you be moving like you ain't got no sense. No. Don't move your neck. Don't move. Sit <laughs> still. And Sit still. And make sure, even if you have a phone. How you supposed to hold your phone, Angela? Up here. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at your phone and you're under the dryer, you look, Angela, put your phone down. Like, look at it down. 
Once you, but look at the improper way. See, she showed train. Show you know how to do it the wrong way. So look, <laughs> if you weren't under here and you were just chilling, like look down with your head. So that's what be happening. Uh -uh. This is wrong because now this is gonna lift in the back. If you notice, she does not have any strips on her hair. Can I just point out something real quick, like for y'all? It's shine. Y'all see that shine? You see that? I ain't even did nothing. It's shiny. Why? If hair don't excite you like this, I need you to quit. Listen, this is very exciting for me because this is the kind of results that clients come back for and stalk you for. I do not do hair no more, but yet I can't get rid of these people. I be like, and these are my friends. I love them. So I don't want them to be like, she was like, oh my God, I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I was like, damn it. I can't never have a Saturday by myself. I was like, I'm going to wake up and go running and I'm going to look at the beach. And I'm going to go to my room. And then I was like, come on, girl, at 930. <laughs> no, but I love them. And I get to teach to you, so no big deal. But, but I get excited. Like, I love, do you love what you do? Listen, it develops. Education makes me so excited because I know how to help this woman, right? And so from that, look at the shine. I ain't did nothing. She can roll out. If your moles are right, if your relaxer application is right, if your um, base is right, which is she got a protein treatment. Hello, protein. Hey, She's My clients are addicted to protein. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy when your client be trying to tell you, girl, no, I know it's not my protein. <laughs> girl, no, it's not. They be trying to argue me down. So listen, do you want them addicted to healthy hair care? And guess what? You ain't got to worry about what everybody else is doing. Because, well, my girls, they want class. They don't want no boxy hair. They don't want no razors, no uh, clipper cut stuff. <laughs> now, we want finesse and sexiness, okay? So y'all trade chairs. Right. So she is, okay, sure. She, well, you just take a break. There's a window there. So now we got Willette. She's going to go under the dryer. And she's had a uh, black rinse. And we did a deep conditioner with a hot towel. And now she's been molded because she wants a pixie cut. She want to be able to just go like this. I didn't do my hair today. I don't hardly do my hair any day because ain't nobody got time then. So that's why I teach hair cutting. If you go to shorthairbootcamplive.com, share this video, like this video. Clients, your hairstylist is, is she needs some assistance. You might want to tell her to come on over to shorthairbootcamplive.com. But the key to this short hair success is your cut has to be right. So the bulk of my focus is on that as well as healthy hair because using cheap products, cheap hair color, cheap this and that, it's not cool. It's going to make your client's hair be compromised and be weak. So they have to be on a, a system. They have to be like, you have to keep them coming. Y'all rebooking them, telling them what they need. If your client comes in the salon and you say, what you getting? I need you to stop because it's not her job. Yeah. What would you like to get? But you should already have an idea. Okay. She came last week. She got, you should have a a book with all of the client's information so you know what she needs next. Now, I ain't seen them in a couple months. <laughs> so today, I'm like, girl, what, what, what have you been doing? Because I don't know. But in general, you want to have communication with your client. That's the difference from a basic stylist to a paid stylist. Honey, you want to be paid, then you want to be like an advisor. They trust you. They love you. Like, I love these women. I don't have to do hair no more, but I'd be like, I love them. I don't want her hair nappy. I'd be like, well, she can't be nappy hair when she in public. This is a disgrace. I can't, I can't have her like that. So it's my responsibility. So here I am. So anyway, I'm going to put, actually, let me side this chair a little bit. I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to put her under the dryer. Now notice her hair is still flat and together. You talk about educating your clients so much that they know. I don't even got to say nothing. Now I am a little bossy. But see, listen, it's all for the betterment of them. They... They know they're going to be flying as hell, and I need you to hold your head still. Okay? So, we don't have any strips because I, I just don't think that it's a necessity. Do I use them sometimes? Yes. Is it necessary all the time? No. So, we just kicking it. This is not um, some super... I just turned the camera on because I like to share. And so, I'm hot. I don't know what's going on. I'm about to put the air on. <laughs> I know, it's perfect, right? So now, I'm 
going to assist Sister Angela. <laughs> It's not like a church member. Sister Angela, come on forward. Sister Angela. So, Sister Willette is going to... What's your last name? You got to say Sister Smith. Sister Smith. Sister Smith. So, um, we're going to... There we go. I need some... Let me get some. Let me get some. I'm just trying to like wipe my face. I'm like, oh, it's so shiny. We bet, we bet, we bet, we bet. So, um, this is impromptu. When you, when the spirit moves, you move. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about being perfect. First thing from perfect, like everyone in the. So we're going to add some hair.
the follicle. So it's different. Her hair is shining from the inside out, much like you as a person need to shine from the inside out. You don't need to try to put on something and then you go from the inside because remember yesterday's live stream was about your inner world creating your outer world. So if the inside of you is beautiful and full of life, everything around you will live, okay? So listen, they don't be asked. I just decided to do something different on her. She didn't ask for this. <laughs> but looking at the, the lightness of her hair. So that, that celebrity stylist I saw yesterday was doing someone's hair. And when he went like this, her hair stayed in the air. I said, oh, oh, no, we don't do that. Oh, we don't do that, honey. The hair must move. The, when I move this hair, the hair must move. When I move, you move. Just, Just like that. that. Like, that's how I'm supposed to do. He picked her hair up, and it was in the air. If your hair is in the air after you put some product on it, that wasn't the right product. Okay? See, I'm about to start busting. Some stylist going to be mad at me because they ain't doing your hair right now and your hair sticking in the air. But what that requires them to do is to get... Per I'm all over you. What that requires them to do... <laughs> it requires your stylist to get education. Okay? You don't get to be basic and regular. <laughs> Not with my loud mouth in the world. Not happening. Because it's time out. Women want to look and feel beautiful like they are, right? They want to be enhanced. They want to be secure. They want to be sure that they actually, their hair looks as good as they feel. So we don't got time to be wondering why my hair is stuck in one position. <laughs> if your hair is stuck in one position, Direct message me. I'm going to give you some suggestions. <laughs> but listen, tell your stylist, my hair should be flowing, flowing. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Think about the ludicrous song. When I move, you move. Just like that. And I was like, that's it. So I, I was like doing her hair and then I caught the vision. And so I was like, girl, we need to put some hair in your head. Just because it's fun. And, and listen, it doesn't take a lot of pieces to actually create some fun length up here. She's growing her hair. We are getting it so strong. We're focusing on the health of her hair. We've been on a journey. Listen, yes. it's a marathon. <laughs> it is not a doggone sprint. Some of y'all trying to sprint to blonde and sprint. That's why your hair fell out. Because <laughs> that's not how you do it. Let me find a glue. Hold on. Listen, pay attention to how I part it because 
right here, this hair, right in this area gets a little short. So I want the fullness to flow right over that area. So guys, you gotta be paranoid when you're doing your client hair. I get OCD, I'll be like, but when the wind blow, what the hair gonna do? Because I need to know what her hair gonna do when the wind blow. Because I've worked on TV. What if my client that I put on TV, the wind blow, she's reporting the news, and then the wind blow and her tracks are, on the girl, we don't do that. So, you know, you got to have your client covered, honey. You need to be like a good neighbor. Be like State Farm. Just be there in multiple ways. When she turns her head, what does the back of her hairstyle look like? Some of y'all just make the front cute and the back look a mess. We don't get to do, like, it's time out. It's time for stylists to step up and be real educators to the client. And don't think that they're not going to come back or they can do their hair at home. Because guess what? As much as they know, because I teach them everything, guess what they call as soon as, they got, as, soon as I got back from Barcelona? <laughs> Like Keisha, and then and then this one's talking about I'ma come to Barcelona and get my hair done. So listen, and what that also tells me, y'all need to go to CEO stylist the course because somebody's not marketing themselves. Somebody's an amazing stylist, and don't nobody <laughs> know about it because you don't feel like you know investing or you feel like you can't. Yeah, maybe you have no choice. What is it costing you to sit where you are and just do the same thing trying to get some different results? What does that really cost you? Hmm. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking for my next first class trip. Cause I'm, I, and I ain't worried about who going to like, it's just the lifestyle. So it, it cost me that plus a whole bunch of other stuff if I do not get the education that I need. My coaches cost thousands of dollars a month. I don't flinch. I just pay it. And if I needed another one tomorrow and they say we need 10 G's, I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go pull it because it's not in my budget that's allocated for the month. But it don't matter. Okay, so some of y'all forgetting that you can ask for resources, you can ask for help, you can ask your cousin, your uncle, ladies. I got a problem when you laying up and you broke. God, dog, you gonna let me get on that subject? I can't stand somebody to be like, I got a boyfriend and you broke, girl. I'm single, single. Uh uh, hand to the no. You laying up, giving up all your your essence, and he can't help you get no education so y'all can be rich. He got to go. Yep, okay, go. he got to go. Bro is a mess and I can't, he's got to go. So listen, when you put your tracks on, make sure that you're firm. You can even tell your client when you push down, like push towards me. And if I'm pushing down, like make sure she's not going away from your hand so that the track is tight in the hair. Look how that flows. Right there. Boom. See how that goes just over that piece that I told you was too short? Not too short, but just shorter. Mm -hmm. And boom. And let me show y'all something real quick. What I like to do, hold this for me, hold, hold, just tell your client to hold the tips of the end of the track. Instead of waiting, I like to work quick and efficient. Now I'm talking, so this takes a long time because I'm running my mouth and this is what I want to do because I don't just do that. All I'm going to do is make sure that I'm not, make sure that I'm not cutting any of her hair. Let go. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece. So that, because we just wanted to give her bang fullness. Remember, she ain't going to complete. Now, I'll go back in, but I went ahead and take that unnecessary length off. Because then, when I go to clean it up and curl it, it just looks natural. So, she likes natural. My divas, again, knowing your clientele. This, this is what we cover in the CEO stylist. Who is your ideal customer? What is she wearing? What car does she drive? What, like, what does she like? My clients want to look like themselves, just a little bit of enhancement. You see how, see how much fuller that looks? And we're not done. So, this is not for anything other than fullness. And I'm like, ooh, I see something. And so the best part is when you educate your client, they totally trust you. This is something that she was not, she didn't book this. Didn't even ask for it. She didn't ask for it. She saw the vision. I saw. Listen, the importance of vision, it goes 360. And I'm just having fun. Like, this money, I don't know if I'm going to go on a debt bill or something. Like, I don't need this. Like, it's not, it's okay. So, like, I'm just telling y'all, you got to, it's, it's a long time coming. But I realized something and I started moving faster because I realized I had to market myself. And I realized that I need to educate my client so that they really trust me 
And I like my job to be fun. So I also want to educate them so that I can do what I want to do when I feel like <laughs> And so like far, Barcelona. right, so far it works. So understanding that there are business principles, there are customer service principles, there's principles on how you should just be as a human, okay? So listen, when you're putting your track on, not directly on the scalp, right at the hairline. What's up, Britt Britt? Brittany, I'm so proud of you. Brittany, actually, I have a surprise for you. Brittany went out, she's in a new city, and she's taking the principles of getting uncomfortable that I'm teaching in the CEO Stylist Private Mastermind, if you're interested in that. Mm -hmm. Holla at your girl in the inbox. But listen, she took the principles and she went out yesterday and signed up two clients on the spot. How many of y'all stylists right now don't have $67 to your name, but you have a mouth and some legs and some curling irons? <laughs> you got money. You need to stop thinking about what you don't have. If you sit around and say, I'm broke and I'm going to do this when I get this, that's not how you get it. Back to what I said. If you got a man, kick his A to the curb. He's not supporting your vision. I'm sorry. I don't roll with dudes like that. Mm -mm. Why are you trying to date everybody broke? That's not even fun. Don't nobody got time for that. Uh-uh. If y'all ain't working together, communicating, coming up with a game plan, supporting each other, he got to go. I ain't messing with no, what's that song, Kanye West? <laughs> I ain't saying I'm a gold digger. And I might be, because I love gold. Okay? But I don't understand these women. You laying up, you giving your soul away. And these dudes, like, I'm just saying. Too many women I talked to this week, mad at they man. He got the hell. I ain't got time for that. But anyway, that's another subject. I'm going to do a whole video about that. Stop <laughs> acting like you a wife and your A ain't married. Mm-mm. No, and no, no. And a real gentleman wants to see you. So he wants support. He trying to figure out how he can be damn like four flats, baby. Okay, hold these two edges. The reason why I'm having her hold it is because the glue has to settle. And I'd rather cut down. So, why not? So, now I see the long pieces. Let me see. And I'm just getting like the bare minimum. Just right there. We're just going for a little fullness. And the best part is that you don't have, this doesn't have to be perfect because it's just fun. Just for fullness. So, you want to cut it in different lengths. So that when we flat iron it, it just blends in naturally. Okay, let go. And boom. This piece I think I'm gonna cut a little bit. And it has a little little um textured look. So I don't have to do a bunch of cutting once I add one more track. I may add two more. This is for fullness. So this is an additional, like guys, if you're in a salon and you want to add fullness to your clients, you can have different levels. Two tracks for 15, four tracks for 30. It takes you no time to put these tracks in their hair. Keep you some tracks on hand. Did I ask her to go to the beauty supply and get the hair? No. no. Nope, she had it. Thank you. I don't do that. That's so ghetto. Stop sending your, stop clients. If y'all stop dealing with this mess, it will have no choice but the best to rise to the top. <coughs> Do not send your client. That is so ghetto. Girl, go down to the beauty supply and buy me some. I got to go get in my car, spin my gas, go get the product that I see cost $3, and then you're going to charge me $64? for Get out of here. I can get on that. That's where the client get on YouTube because they sick of your ghetto, but it ain't because of anything else. Trust me when I tell you, it's just because of this right here. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Listen, no, this the salon is not open. I don't want nobody asking me that. This is not specific. <laughs> I'm educating the stylist and the client because I just want everybody to do better. I, I sacrifice. I pay for education. I go buy the tools I need. I invest in the products. I spend hundreds of dollars on stuff at any given time, period, point blank, because I understand the value that it provides for me and my client. But stylists, I mean clients, if y'all just stop going to beauty supply stores for clients, if y'all just stop, now listen, y'all also got to stop being late. Now don't get, don't get, I ain't being funny. I'm just saying, y'all know I'm OCD. If I say seven, what the hell? Where are you at? It's seven o'clock. I'm prepared. So I got 
to be prepared, but clients, y'all can't be tripping when you sitting around and you late. If you, in my salon, they already know. They be like nervous. And I, <laughs> and I, I know I am a kind of a capital B.I. Um, in the salon because I'm very military about everything. Like what? That takes 15 minutes. You're late. So now you've, you've put 15, I have everything timed. So I'm only a B.I. because everything is timed. So I do have, there is a buffer, guys, for y'all who be, I have a buffer. I know that they're going to be late. But don't be. <laughs> That's the way they go. But and my clients know I have to. I fire seven clients because if you just late because you think you cool like that, <laughs> I had one lady tell me just charge me. I said it's not about the money. It's about you messing up my day. I got ish to do, so, and you're impacting every other person behind or before you. So you're disrespectful. I don't. You, you can't come back. They'd be like, what? Come back? <laughs> no. Let room for people who won't be on time. For people who want to get in and out. So you got to know your clients so well that you're willing to lose a couple to keep the ones that are, like, efficient. Okay? Y'all be thinking it's me. It's not me. Nobody got time. Now, traffic happens. Things happen. You know, of course people are going to be late. But when you just scrolling around late because you and, and then, you, listen, clients, y'all tell on y'all girl, you know I ain't got no job. But you late every day? <laughs> See, now you're disrespectful. But that's all another story. <laughs> The whole purpose of this really was, I don't know, it really was no purpose. Hold this right here. <laughs> I just turned the cameras on because it's fun. So now I'm just going to, again, at the top, you cut a little shorter so that it can have, you can let go, so it can have a layered look. And I'm loving it. I'm done. So it's full. It's fun. So now I just need to curl it. I'm going to look through and see which pieces are kind of like, mm, I don't know. Actually, I like it all. <laughs> you could easily take this hair and just comb and kind of see. I see some little pieces that I want to cut. I can tell which pieces now. If you can't tell, I'm going to need you not to do this. I can see the weave, so just I'm just taking the tips of it. I'm taking the tips of it. I see the weave right there. If you want to learn how to cut hair, go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. I made it very, very simple. That's weave. And I'm just breaking it up so that it just falls. And then when I flat iron, you guys are going to see, it just looks really pretty. So there's no purpose of this other than we want to add some fullness. And I know that she runs, she works out, she's a mother. See, you got to think about the client's lifestyle. She got things to do. So this is the perfect style for the busy woman. I wish I sold weave, the comb, and everything else that I got, but I don't. So, <laughs> sounds like an infomercial, but it's not. <laughs> um, so now, all we got to do is just comb this, I mean, curl this, and it's just going to be super cute. Like, it's going to just be fun, and it's easy, because when she goes to bed at night, she can literally just brush this to the side yeah. and just be flat. Like, I don't even have to curl this if I don't want to. And that's how easy adding those tracks. And guess what? If your, ba your base shampoo is $65, you just added $30. Not to mention, she got a shampoo. And now I added all this to her stuff. <laughs> but her, the shampoo, <laughs> I be so excited. I'm like, girl, you want to buy this? She, actually, I didn't say buy. I said, girl, you need to get this. <laughs> but I, so she needs, she wants to get a rinse, but she wants to wait until time for her relaxer so that the relaxer doesn't kind of strip the rinse off, right? Right. Um, so I was like, oh, girl, guess what? I got a remedy for that. I have a shampoo that'll make your hair look black in between your rinse appointments. That's a $15, 10 to $15 upsell. And so I gave her a protein treatment, a rinse that make her hair shiny as all outdoors, which is just a shampoo, took three minutes. Didn't take any extra time. Added some tracks. And, like, boom. Like, she is, like, about to be popping for two weeks. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I've been gone, so I know she's probably like, girl, you better not play games. So now it's just really simple. Her hair is very light. She has what I like to call skinny hair. So I don't want to weigh it down with products. It needs to be able to move around. Like, it needs to be soft. It's so soft. And so now I'm just going to go through and just put
put some light curls, light bevels, and then we're going. She's going to be out the door. So understanding that the hair will tell you what it needs, but as the as the professional, you gotta like know your stuff so that you can help these women feel or look as amazing as they feel. And sometimes women come in here upset, so you want to pick their spirits up with your educated self. Like, but if you don't got no education, I'm just saying. <laughs> so Short Hair Boot Camp Live, we go over all of these things, and it's actually, to me, I don't know, it may not, it's really simple. Like, the, the basis is do healthy hair. Make sure you understand the, the, the key couple of haircuts and anything else is a bonus. Like, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for healthy hair that the client can manage. Because I want her to just be empowered. What about that? You can empower. Some of y'all trying to quit your salon business because you want to be an empowerment coach. What? Y'all better get in here and empower these women right here. <laughs> they co You are coaching them. They in your chair talking about stuff. They paying you. I'm just saying. You're helping their look so that they can feel better and go out into their community. She may have a hot day with her husband tonight. <laughs> She's going to be like, girl, look at them bangs. Got something else I want to bang. <laughs> I'm saying, y'all, when I get married, it's going to be like Naked Tuesday, Happy Wednesday. I'm going to be at home like, hey, Zanny. <laughs> When I get married, I don't do that now. Listen, I just be popping these curls on these people. But I'm just saying, that's what the benefit is, the joy. Just because you're married don't mean you got to start looking like old fuddy duddy. That's right. And ladies that's trying to get married, that's, that goes without saying. Especially in 2017 when you got thoughts everywhere. Mm -hmm. everywhere. You need to stay on top of your game, boo. Ladies, y'all got a man, y'all got to switch it up tonight. He come in the house and you just in there like, ah. <laughs> he like, girl, what's you? What's wrong with you? Y'all better <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all better get it. I know it's inappropriate for y'all church folk watching me. Okay, let go. <laughs> this is why we love Keisha. She keep it real. You got to keep it real. real. You know how many people walk around like they ain't doing nothing, but then they secretly wonder why they man looking somewhere else? Girl, because we're ladies. And we must address that. We have to carry ourselves as such, honey. And you have to, like, stay on top of all of these things. You got to be a woman with a, with, a, with a heart, a mind, a go-getter. You got to have drive. And you also got to, you know what I'm saying, you in a relationship, it's communication. And just because you got him, you need to do what you keep up what you did to keep him. So you was fly when he met you. Now you walk around in the moo-moo. <laughs> Ain't nothing sexy about a moo moo. Get about that moo moo girl and put on some sexy pajamas. And if you ain't got no man, still put on sexy pajamas. I sit around my house like I'm a ride Harry. I have <laughs> furry stuff, gold cups. I like to just be by me and I like to be sexy for myself. I love on me. And then guess what? Any man in my vicinity, dudes don't even stuff. They be like, I know she just, I can't even. You can't. And when the one that can, well, then he will. But until then, I'm a key. Okay, y'all got did y'all follow that? That was interesting. <laughs> I'm just saying, the salon is where we get you are it's more. Like you you can teach women so much. But stylists, you can't be the busted up stylist. Now how to be busted up trying to help her not be busted up. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. None. That ain't even fun. You trying to sell somebody some lipstick, you a makeup artist, but your lips crusty. <laughs> Cause you come to work with sunglasses on because you had a long night. I've seen so many stylists come to work with like, you smell like smoke, you smell like the alcohol you just finished drinking. You got to see. I mean, like what? It's crazy, and and it, and this it happens because hair money is fast money. So just as soon as you spend all your hair money, you get it back the next day. Which leads you to believe you should be living like Future and Sierra and them, which is such a lie. <laughs> Trust me, I did it. I be going to, after I leave work, I just go buy everybody food. I go buy the ball for everybody. Let go of your hoyer. <laughs> and then next week I'm like, damn, where my money go? I'm broke. 
I'm all on vacation. Come back desperate. Calling everybody. Hey, girl, you want to come get your hair done? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? It doesn't feel good to go on vacation and you come back broke. Talking about, I'm doing this for me. No, what you should do, what we should do for us is invest in ourselves. Educate ourselves. Change our habits, little. Habits, that's what make everything stick. One of my clients was talking about a diet. I said, girl, if you don't get out of my face with this diet, <coughs> this is the fifth diet we're going to talk about in three years. <laughs> and that's not being negative, Nancy. I said, how about we do a lifestyle change? Because that will work. She's like, what do you mean? I said, I'm going to see some food plans. I could have charged her for that, but I didn't. <laughs> no, but I want her to win. Like, that's how much, that's how influential we are as hairstylists. Like, I want her to win. I don't want her to keep trying diets. So I'm like, well, let me share with you how I have not worked out in four months and, and stay slim. She was like, but do you ever eat regular? Girl, please, I ate donuts for a week in Barcelona. But my majority of my food is extremely clean. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, you can go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. This is what I call my silk out, where I'm just basically adding some heat to silk out the hair. Listen, when your stylist curl your hair, if it gets stuck in place, she wrong, he wrong, <laughs> he wrong. I seen that man yesterday, I said, oh my God. But that speaks to another story. If you market yourself, it don't matter if your product good or bad, people will buy, which is horrible, but it's the truth. So many good stylists. When I talk to stylists every day, I'm talking to stylists from all over. And I hear their visions. I see, I hear their passion. But the mentality is like, I don't got the money, or I'm going to do it when I get on, when I get on, when I get on. That's retarded. But then also, <laughs> they don't understand that there's a marketing factor. If you just know how to do one thing, blow dry hair, there's a lady who created a 40 plus million dollar business because she mastered blow drying. And let me tell you what we do, especially in the black community. We quick to say we a master stylist. You broke and a master. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't know how many master stylists I've talked to that are popular on social media and they still trying to get, like it doesn't make sense. We so caught up in a title. Meanwhile, if we just focus on true mastery and marketing, you ain't got to worry about that. Look at that. That stuff just moves. Look at everybody. Get your life, girl. <laughs> it just pops into place. And it's not a lot of product. Our hair creates oil. I've already given her the conditioner she needs. I've already given her all that stuff. So I'm not going to load it up with a lot because her hair is, but I like to say, skinny. So she's on a, her hair is skinny, so we don't got time to be putting heavy, fat products on her hair. I wanted to just give her something that's easy, easy to maintain. So, this is what we're doing. And this, what I'm, how I'm curling it is just the basic silk out. This is so easy. The only reason I'm still doing hair right now is because I'm running my mouth. Because I just like to answer all the questions people send me in my inbox at once. I'm just doing hair. You can hop on the live stream, hop off. Hey. I'm here though. Because I have been doing this since I was 13. And I've always been passionate about making people hear how I bounce. I never understood in the hood why everybody got pumped up hard. <laughs> I was like, wait, I want my hair to be shaky. Like the mother girls. And so I was focused on getting shaky hair. And it's so funny because let me tell you something. When you decide what you want, things will start to appear to you that may have been in front of you the whole time. But I, I found one stylist who noticed that my hair was always cute because I was ghetto and trying to figure it out. And she kept saying, who does your hair? And I was like, me? I'm 13. She put me in her shop to do the kids' hair. And then... I'm on. What? They was, she was like, you can't charge because they were going to get me. I said, but I can take donations. She said, yep. I said, I have a minimum donation of $20. 
That was it. Everybody sit down. I'm clocking 20s at 13. <laughs> Y'all better come on now. Understand? And I was turning them people hair out. I, you remember the little butterflies? We used to wear the little butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be twisting them hair, banana peel, flipping. Girl, I was doing everything. You want some zigzag parts? I got you. Like, yes. I, I, I did my mom's hair. It was annoying because I started creating a monster. Because then my aunties and them, I can't go to sleep at night because they got me doing their hair so they can be cute at church. I'm like, this is foolishness. I remember one time my auntie, I did a French roll. And she didn't, she was like, no, I changed my mind. And, and it's already like 11 o'clock at night. We got to go to church at 8 a.m. She's like, we got to do it over. I was like, girl, what? We don't get this French roll. And it was a double French roll. I did one in the back and one at the top. What y'all, who know about them double French rolls? I remember that. Who know, baby? I used to run that stuff. So I do the French roll. She don't like it. We take it down. We do a roller set with some crimps. <laughs> I will never forget. I was so tired. I remember my uncle came in the room and he was like, he came in the room and he was like, why do you have her up this late? And my auntie was like, you better leave me alone. And he walked on about that room. You don't mess with a black woman in her hair. <laughs> ah! So, listen guys, hair is fun and it is what you make it. And you should not be a struggling stylist. And clients should not have to be fending for themselves the way that they are out here. It's hard out here on both sides. And I am determined to educate so that everybody gets help. Not just the client, not just the stylist. But it's just like, this is all information that's available to you. You can go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. It's $19 a month or $150 for the year. And I don't know if you know how to do math, but 19 a month, the average person on short hair boot camp stays for six months to a year. A year of that is 228 versus if you just make one lump sum payment and invest and get your courses. There's tons of tutorials. So look at that. Now she's happy. She's smiling. <laughs> I love my hair. And we don't do roll by roll curls, so all I do is comb it out. <laughs> if you're doing roll by roll, please get your client out of the 90s and 80s and into today. Today is about soft and just healthy hair. And if your client, if your stylist loves you, and guess what, stylist? You can love your clients. I ain't saying get all your clients and bring them to your house and be buddy buddy because that's just not, you can't do that. <laughs> but what you can do is love everyone and let them know like, I like for everybody to look amazing. And the way that you show them that you love them is you keep educating yourself and them and make sure that you are giving them the best that you have. And don't beat yourself up if you're watching this going, oh my God, I don't know how to do that. Learn. That's all. It's not, oh my God, I don't know how. It's, ooh, let me figure out how to sign up. Let me figure out how to find someone in my area. Let me figure out how. It's always just a matter of let me figure it out. I live my life like that. If I want to do something, I'll be like, let me figure it out. I have tried Oh, I ain't gonna try. I sold websites. I sold mobile applications. I sold a lot of stuff. Because I believed in it. And I went, let me figure it out. So look. You guys see the little hairs right here? Let me show y'all how to get that. Let me show you a little trick. <coughs> let me show you a little trick. You take your TG stick and outline the edges of her hair. And then you take the comb, it's soft, and you make sure that you comb the hair. And that TG stick, I love it because it literally, like, really keeps the hair in place. And so, underneath the hair, it's going to make sure that those edges lay. And when the wind blows, it has just enough texture on it so that it stays flat. So when you rub it, it's not like, oh my God. And so, 
She has a nice, pretty, soft, movable bang. It don't look like a box. <laughs> I can't stand Y'all see, I can't stand it. I really can't. I'll be like, why, Jesus? This is not even right. And the fun part is you can put texture. She can curl this up. Or she can just wear it straight. Like whatever she wants to do, she can do. So let's just give it up for Angela because she's a good sport with all of the jewelry. <laughs> but I love her. Yay. And so you just want to make sure that your coin's hair looks amazing. I got to get your neck, but you guys can actually switch them on. Get your neck real quick. And so when I'm in the back of the head, I'm only cleaning up the outline. I'm not doing no box stuff. Because I just don't think that that's feminine. And most men trying to figure out why your neckline look like theirs. Y'all both at the barbershop. Y'all both at the barbershop getting the line? Unless you have like one of those cuts that require the line uh, edge up. I get it. But most of y'all don't. And then you just like mess up the whole lady hairline. Like, what? So then she looking like a werewolf at work. <laughs> this is too much. Because her hair coming. Y'all, this is a, these are the woes that women are going through. <laughs> Boom! She's ready to go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Next person. Maybe you can come this way. So anywho, guys, we're just hanging out. Shorthairbootcamplive.com if you want to know more about short hair stuff. And um, I'm